Well, we're here now at Circle G Ranch. Well, it basically started at the end of end of 1966. Elvis bought Priscilla a horse, and he also bought a horse for his member of his entourage, Jerry Shellin, his his girlfriend Sandy Coelho. Bought her a horse as well, so that she could go riding together with Priscilla, and it just basically spiralled from there. But Elvis had a horse. He bought Jerry Shilling a horse. Then he started buying horses for all the rest of his entourage, and also all the all the horse riding equipment necessary for it. And eventually, one day while passing on the road outside, which is now a really busy thoroughfare which was a lot quieter back in the 1967 in February 67 he bought this ranch Circle G this is the honeymoon cottage Elvis and Priscilla spent time in he, he bought he spent thousands thousands of dollars on ranchero pickups trailers for all his entourage and their families in the grounds over in that direction. Elvis was staying here around the time he was due to go start filming the movie Clambake and he was having uh, such a good time here that he, f he pulled a sickie basically and that was his first encounter with D Dr George Nicopolis who basically signed off on Elvis being unfit for work at that point and of course from that point on George, Dr George Nicopolis became a big part of Elvis's life like many things with Elvis's impetuous nature, the novelty of the farm ranch life did start to wear off after spending thousands and thousands of dollars, as I say, on trailers and all the equipment needed for a ranch. As soon as November of 67, less than a year after buying the property, Everything was sold in a public auction. The property itself was sold soon after. The new owners defaulted and the ownership reverted back to Elvis until it was finally sold again in 1973. So it was only a brief, brief period of his life, but especially by Priscilla, it's, uh, look back very fondly as a very happy time.
the basement of this building here on Adams was the Thunderbird Lounge. Thunderbird Lounge was started by Ernie Barrasso who worked at Hull's Dobbs Ford Thunderbird car dealership, hence the name the Thunderbird Lounge. Met Elvis first of all when he sold him the car. And he he had aspirations to be a nightclub owner, so he opened the lounge here in the basement in 1965 and Elvis held his New Year's Eve party here in 1967. Impressive lineup of artists included Ronnie Millsap and Sam and Dave played here. So Elvis had New Year two year New Year's Eve parties here in 67 and 68.